In this video, we're going to talk about tuning Copilot for Microsoft 365 using Copilot Studio to build custom Copilots that provide responses to your specific questions. But let's back up a second. Copilot itself for Microsoft 365 does a phenomenal job of giving you responses inside applications like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Teams, and more. Flows the same, the same, the same, the same now. Paved the way the snakes and fakes are chased out. Back to back to back, I changed the pace now. Had to stack the cash until the bank's out. Straight to the top, never gone down, don't wait for the drop. It does this by using the Microsoft Graph to access your data sources, your, like your OneDrive files or your Teams chat messages or your SharePoint sites and then leveraging the large language models, it gives you a really good response back. But this is all within your tenant. What happens if you wanna ask Copilot a question that extends beyond your tenant to third-party data sources? Now there is a toggle for accessing the internet through Copilot so that you can get more up-to-date information. There are also connectors and plugins to access third-party information. These are all really great tools, except not everyone has the skill set to use these connectors and plugins. This is where Copilot Studio comes in. It's super simple to use. Let's get down into the step by step guide of how to build your own Copilot Studio. Let's start off on the web and do a search for Copilot Studio. And here it is Microsoft Copilot Studio. Click on it. And if you notice on the top right hand side, there's a try free. Let's click on that and I'm going to put in my user here, Alex. Click next. It's very easy to get set up very quick. We we'll just put in some information and then click on get started. Now that we have that out of the way, the first screen that you see is this Copilot Studio. But also if you check your user's email, you'll get a welcome email there as well. So let's go back to the screen and bypass the first introductory windows. And we're going to create our first co-pilot. Now there's a site that I use very often that I mentioned. Uh, it's the Teams admin site. So we're going to call this the Teams admin guide. And notice that there's many different languages that Copilot can speak. So we'll just stick with English. For the website, I'll put in this Teams admin site. I'm just going to copy the URL from here. I'm going to paste it in there. And we should be good. We can click on create takes a little bit of time to get this set up and then in the email you'll also see that when it's set up it'll let you know now here's where you can test your own copilot hello I'm the teams admin guide teams admin is what we gave it the name for let's ask it a question what are some of the main features of teams phone it's gonna go back to that site that we referenced and voila all this information Let's see if it's uh, accurate. Number one, cloud auto attendance for Teams phone, yes. Cloud call queuing, music on hold, call answer, initiate, call forwarding. Sounds good to me. I'm very familiar with Teams phone, as you guys know. And on the bottom, there's a couple of reference sites. So this is the Teams phone features, perfect. So it went to the exact place that it needed to and came back with some good information. Let's ask it another question. What countries does Microsoft offer calling plans in? And it came back with some information on calling plans and another link that we can click on. And this is the Microsoft calling plans for Teams, which is perfect. So again, if your users need to have access to a site like this, it's very easy just to interact. Ask another question. What are advantages of Teams Room Pro license compared to the standard license? Gives us a good response back about the differences of front row and large galleries and dual screen support and also a link that compares the two. So perfect. Now on the top left hand side, notice this Copilot's menu item. This is where all the Copilots that you create show up. We just created one, the Teams admin guide. Let's go click on the plus and create another one this is going to be the Microsoft tech community 
we have a very healthy tech community. This is the site that I'm going to copy and paste for the URL. And I'm going to put it in the website. And we're going to create this new copilot using the tech community. So any blog posts, any new information that gets put up there, we can access now using natural language and copilot. So let's ask it a question. What Microsoft products do you have info on? Comes back and says, I have info on Microsoft 365, Windows, Teams, and Copilot. Fair enough. What's the latest news with Copilot? And it comes back with a ton of information. And if you notice, it's from Ignite 2023, which happened in November, and it's February now. So it's not too long ago. So it's relatively accurate. Later on, I'll show you how it's very important to give it some uh, timelines for Copilot to be more accurate. When we click on the link, it takes us to this Ignite 2023, and we can read more from there. Ask another question. What's the latest news with Microsoft Teams Rooms? And so it comes back with a ton of information. But if you notice, it says Ignite 2022, which is rather old. So there, therein lies the importance of being more specific when you're prompting AI, right? Let's try again. In the last month, have there been any updates around Microsoft Teams rooms? Okay, so we're saying in the last month now. And it's going to go back and give you this information from December of 2023. I started this in January, so it's actually accurate. It, it is the last month. So again, be very specific with AI. If you're generic, it's going to give you a generic response back. So this was a good response. This is the link from December 2023 really fast way for you to get up to date by just interacting with your own copilot this is the value of copilot studio because you can push these out to all your end users ask another question any new teams rooms hardware in the last two months we learned right be specific and so it's going to come back and share with us yes there have been in the last two months and provides us with a link as well and we can click on it again the value of this is pushing out these copilots to your end user so that instead of coming and asking you for all these questions or whoever your experts are they can just interact with these copilots which are super intelligent and probably one final question in the last month any news on M365 Copilot. Actually, I lied. This is not the last question. So it comes back and says, sorry, I can't help you with that. It's because it doesn't understand what M365 is. So I spell it out. Any news on Microsoft 365 Copilot? And now it gives us better information, multiple links, which are very recent from November of 2023 when the changes were made around GA of Copilot, General Availability. So again, be very specific. You have to kind of massage your prompting and over time you'll become better at how to interact with AI. By the way, this is where you publish the site so that your end users have access to these co-pilots that you create. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Let me know if you have any questions, join our community, and I'll catch you on the next one.